Hello. Um, <clears throat> today I have another uh, update in terms of uh, movies and stuff that I've gotten. Um, seems like every other month or so I seem to be doing this. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I thought I'd gotten a decent amount since the last time. I made a video like this, such as, like, you know, uh, like since December, and so I thought, why not sort of go through some of the new stuff that I've gotten, and, um, the first, uh, thing will be a DVD, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, I know that, um, it's a cartoon, obviously, but it's one I grew up watching quite a bit, and, um, I enjoy it, and this wasn't too expensive on Amazon, and, uh, has every episode, it doesn't have any special features, but that's fine, I had the first season, and then I never saw any other, uh, more seasons, uh, out and about, so that's, uh, that's all fine, but, um, I do have a season one of Johnny Bravo, um, that's sort of like a similar thing. I don't think it has any special features, or if there is, there might be like one thing. Um, like an interview with the creator, but I can't recall offhand with that. But yeah, um, this is a good show, and I, um, I really enjoy it. I think it's uh, still pretty funny, and um, you're able to some gross stuff on it, but if you're able to find this, like on Amazon or somewhere, at a pretty decent price, I recommend getting it, you know, it has all 52 episodes, and, um, so all four seasons, um, I know I complained about the, um, Aqua Teen set, uh, for how they're held, but, these are better, um, though in some of the instances with the metal stuff, they are kind of falling and breaking, unfortunately, um, like there. Not too bad, but, you know, it is annoying. Some of these are fairly cheap, but I'm going to try to... Yeah, there. Sort of cheap in a way, but I do what I can to be as good with uh, DVDs and Blu-rays as possible, you know. So, but, you know, as long as not too many things break apart and if you're able to replace these at all in any way, I might do so if such a thing ever happens to where the discs aren't able to really uh, stay in anymore, but so far it's fine, and um, can't really complain, you know. Would have been nice to have some sort of special features of sorts, like it, at least for like the first season or so, like the making of, like the idea and all that stuff, and maybe the original short that actually got nominated for an Academy Award. Like it was uh, played in theaters, like I think at some film festivals and such, and um, and it was on TV. I remember seeing that uh, TV, like like ducks or space chickens. Yeah, that was it. Space chickens, like from outer space or something of that effect. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but it was basically like that. And so, yeah, it, it's. That's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I uh, love uh, love this show, and I'm glad to have the whole series on DVD. Um, and before this, I'll, uh, got some games. Uh, 
the evil dead the game uh, we're able to step in the sh shoes of ash williams or his friends and experience uh, over the top co-op and pvp multiplayer action fight for good as a team of four survivors and take down villains and evil forces or take control of the power powerful canand darian demon and a game inspired by the Evil Dead universe, and I know I didn't pronounce that <laughs> name completely <coughs> correct, and I apologize. But, uh, yeah. I have all the movies. I don't have the Ash vs. Evil Dead series. It's just how it is, unfortunately. But this game is pretty fun, though I do have an issue with uh, how it's held in. Yeah, it's a brand new game. I got it at a JCD and Hobbies, which have both new and brand, like both new and the old games where you can go in and, but, but this was new and this happened to be the, that just happened to be the, the case that I got so I might look for some cases I, I've seen stuff where you can get like five or so for pretty cheap from people who are like for, that make them so I might look into getting that but so far overall I've been having it in such a way where I haven't had a huge difficulty with this for now but of course that could change also, I got a haircut. I'm sure that's something you all noticed. Part of the reason I'm not wearing my hat, but uh, that will probably change uh, next time. I'll just put that here. Yeah. There. Anyway, um, and I got a couple more games. Um, so this is my PS2 game of Destroy All Humans, which I have gotten, uh, which I had had for many years. I loved it, still love it. And um, I never got the PS4 game until now. Again, this is at JCD and Hobbies, and um, this was used, but they always make sure any used game that they get is completely good and running and disc is clean and fine and has nothing wrong with it, no scratches or anything. I've been playing this off and on and it's still an amazing game. Exactly like this, but the graphics and everything are just better. You know, they're improved. Like the PlayStation 3, or PlayStation 4, rather. And, um, yeah, I still have my play PlayStation 4 because been playing it off and on here and there but i never got destroy all humans 2 uh for ps2 so i thought get this one and that one and um, you know that was 10 bucks and this was like um i think i believe 20 to 25 or so it wasn't really ex all that expensive Especially for a new console. And Ash vs. the Evil Dead was... Because that's PS4. That was also like, you know... Uh, it's, it's, uh, because that was also a brand new and it wasn't like a used game. They uh, It was a little more expensive. But I think that was like 15 I, I believe. So overall, these games were not overly expensive and... I have some games from CD Warehouse, which used to be a thing here uh, in Des Moines, but not so much anymore. JC and Hobby is sort of like a similar thing to CD Warehouse, you, though with JCD and Hobby, you can also have things like, I think, like uh, certain action figures and stuff that they do have. Like, uh, I've gotten some, like, a taxi driver like figure that's still in the box, though, well, sort of started to come out, but I had to tape it because it's one of those where you kind of don't want to really take out unless you really like bought another one or whatever 
at that which point you would, you know, uh, might open one so you can then put stuff in. But yeah, overall, you know, they have a mixture of new stuff as well as old. You can bring in movies or games or what have you, like comic books also for JC Hobbies. And um, yeah, they had this for new also with the evil ash versus the evil dead so yeah i liked it i like it. i i've been playing this game off and on as well it's just i've never played this so i've been playing this a little more than uh destroy all humans and i've been trying to get like a hundred percent on this just to try and do that because i've never really tried to do that before on any game um it just never really uh, occurred to me but some of the stuff that's that you can get a hundred percent on it's kind of cool and plus you can always replay the games and or like the levels so you can always uh have a chance at getting a hundred percent whereas some games to get a hundred percent you might have to restart the game after you've beaten it already and you know how to uh play all the missions and such so you can then get maybe like a hundred percent completion um but yeah good games and i know i don't talk about games too much here i know if it play like Grand Theft Auto and that like I just have my phone or whatever like pointed at the camera you know very low quality but you know everybody else does it so cleanly anymore I'm like I'm, I want to try if I I like if I'm like well if I was ever going to make a series of videos with games I'm going to just do it like this but I haven't done that in a while I like talking about movies more but I don't know maybe I'll talk about games overall at some point I know I talk about Grand Theft Auto 4 as my favorite, just in general, you know, but, you know, I think if I was ever going to actually do any gameplay and stuff, I would probably get all the necessary things to record, not just uh, the gameplay footage, but also myself and, you know, have that be like a simultaneous uh, experience and such. And then, yeah. I don't know if that will ever happen, but if it does, it probably won't be somewhere uh, in the near future. Um, but who knows? Um, and now I want to talk about this film a bit. Donnie Darko. I have never before this film gotten anything from Arrow Home Video, which... May be shocking to some people, but I've talked about stuff from the Criterion Collection and um, Shout Factory, Scream Factory. I've talked about stuff from Kino Lorber, a few movies I've gotten from them, but never Arrow. And part of that is because some of the stuff they have is like only, you know, Region B, Region 2. You know basically like, like european stuff because it is a european company whereas you know i'm from america so it's like you know I'm region one region a land um but i got this in 4k why because well i've got a ps5 which can play 4k blu-rays and um 4k is region free and so i'm like well, i would like some more region you know, or some more 4K stuff. And it's been a long time since I've even seen Donnie Darko. And this has both the theatrical and the director's cut. Because I believe, like, the normal version has, like, the... I believe it has the theatrical cut. I don't... It might have also, like, for the normal Blu-ray, which I think there is a version in... Um, that you can get in America. <clears throat> like there's like a the region one version and such for their Blu-ray set. But I don't know, this just seemed like they have like the complete thing. You know, this has you know, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray or 4K Blu-rays, I like to call it just to simplify things. Includes both the 4K versions of restorations of a theatrical and director's cut from the original camera negatives supervised and approved by director Richard Kelly and cinematographer Steven Poster. Uh, as 4K 
blurry presentations of both cuts and Dolby Vision and you know all these specifications and then with this version you get a hundred page hardcover book of r featuring writing by Nathan Rabin, uh, Anton Patel, and Jamie Graham, an in-depth interview with Richard Kelly, and an introduction by Jake Gyllenhaal, and contemporary coverage illustrated with original stills and promotional material, double-sided fold-out poster featuring newly commissioned artwork by Luke Priest, six-sided, uh, or six double-sided uh, collector's po uh, postcards and limited edition packaging with reversible sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork. Is that correct? Yep. Which I kind of like that. It's like the original poster. Kind of like that. I think I might just put that in there right now. I think it's cool when they have like a reversible stuff like that. I I know the that Shout Factory, Scream Factory, many of their films do that, but um, I know for the 4K version of Black Christmas doesn't have that. That might be seen as like a bummer to some. But, you know. Gosh, I didn't know they had that, but yeah. Because it's like, you know, here we go. Here's this, which is the main thing. The rabbit, uh, Frank the rabbit, specifically. Uh, there's Grandma Death checking her mailbox, and yeah, here's some of the cool stuff here. And the end of the world will happen. And there's a the interview. Um I know a lot of people have been like, you know, this is kind of a weird film. And I'm like, yeah, it kind of is. But you know what? That's not that bad, I I don't think. Um, you know, I've seen some weirder stuff, you know, like David Lynch. Maybe even Tim Burton. But, you know, some time travel in this film. There's, you know, science fiction and such. Though a lot of people, if they haven't seen it, they kind of think it's like a horror film because of the rabbit. So there's this poster, this side of it, then there's the other side, which is basically the original cover. I did watch both cuts of this film. And, uh, yeah. So there's disc one, the theatrical cut. There's disc two, the uh, uh, director's cut. And I've 
gone through all the special features and stuff and the director's cut really is just like all the deleted scenes like put back in really and uh, there's like 20 minutes in total of deleted scenes I can get these out And also some of the music has changed around for the director's cut, so it's kind of different and sort of interesting. Uh, they're there in the movie theater watching Evil Dead. Uh, Frank the uh, Rabbit. Drew Barrymore is... is uh, teacher. She's also an executive producer. She's part of the reason the film definitely got to be made. There's Donnie with the axe. And there's the whole uh, oh, dance. <laughs> so it's kind of a big thing throughout the film as a whole girls dancing here's like the gym teacher and yeah it's it's quite a quite something uh, yeah, well and that's it now they say double-sided, but well, what's on the back of all these is this, just like the original poster. And also, there's like another advertisement for like, Arrow is streaming in, uh, in America, uh, Britain, and uh, Canada. And also here is this. Pretty sure that's for a film they have in their library to promote. So there is that. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's with Donnie Darko. Um, never before this have I ever gotten an Arrow film, but. Or a, a film from released by uh, Arrow Home Video, but I'm happy I got this because this is an excellent uh, set. And um, it's just very, uh, it just looks amazing, it looks fantastic. And uh, I hope to be able to get some more uh, films from them down the line. this I want to kind of explain something a bit um, these are uh, my original um, dollars trilogy films with uh, hang them high um, great films great trilogy um, but I've had these for years so on that end nothing overtly new or special but I completed recently this two disc uh, set and I've never talked about these films really before at all in any way but I recently also got uh, for a few dollars more still sealed and um, the reason I got this because 
I've seen Kino Lorber has uh, all three of these films on Blu-ray. And I first got this. And um, I saw this somewhere along the line, and also that's in white. That's in white too, like for the casing. You can see that. But then this is in black. I don't know if they were all originally white, and then at some point they stopped and just had the typical black case for it, but I thought that's kind of cool. The first two are like that, are like this, and they all have, aside from two discs, they all have this sort of thing with information about the films. Which is cool. And by getting, uh, for a few dollars more, I completed the trilogy. And had I only just had this, I think I probably would have just eventually just gotten all three films on Blu ray. With the first uh, two being on the two disc set there. And the good, bad, and the ugly being the only one with two discs. But I thought, you know, why not have uh, all three on DVD and then make it like this? And I'm not getting this up because I don't know. I might talk about this individually someday. And, and I don't know when I will talk about Darnie Darko because... It is a fine film. I I do I do enjoy it, but I don't know offhand if I will do that soon. And I might talk about these films soon. So when I do, I'll probably just uh, uh, get that out there also, and then sort of show it off. But I have all three of these films now, and um, yeah. Some natural sort of like eh, bumps and such here and there, but overall they're all in good condition. This was again in still wrapped in the packaging, so and it was at a pretty decent price. It wasn't a overtly stupid price since it's out of print. So that's always good. It's always nice if you find something out of print and it's still in either in very good condition, or like new, or if it's still wrapped, and everything is good. I think that's awesome. But, yeah, I, uh, I enjoy these films, and I hope to one day, uh, possibly in the near future, to discuss all of these films. And also another Clint Eastwood film. Unforgiven. I wanted this on Blu-ray for the longest time, but for whatever reason, just never got it. I don't really have an excuse as to why, but finally got it. And I talked about that for my some of my favorite films from two thousand or nineteen ninety two, thirty years ago for last year. And I really love this film. I think it is deserving of best picture and director for sure. And uh, I have also made an argument like you know. Clint Eastwood could have won Best Actor, but then again, so could have um, Robert Downey Jr. for Chaplin and Denzel Washington for Malcolm X. Might talk about this at some point, too. I don't know. I've wanted to kind of do some Clint Eastwood stuff. <clears throat> Films that he has acted in and stuff that he has directed. Some of the stuff he's directed he isn't in. Some he is in. Just have to see what all happens. Um, so anyway, you know, got this on 4K. Still a excellent film. Has four documentaries. Classic epi classic Maverick episode. Duelish Sundown. So there's all that good stuff. Great film overall. And I'm just happy to... Have the, have have this on uh, 4K.
and Blu-ray in general. You know, and the Blu-ray has all the special features. Um, and now before I do talk about the last thing, uh, I do obviously <laughs> mentioning uh, you know, earlier uh, Evil Dead, the game. I have Friday the 13th, the game, though I've had this for some years. I'm glad I have... I'm glad that there is like a one-player option because I've always been more into the one-player mode personally. Never been into the whole multiplayer thing. I know there are certain games that that's basically the best way to even play it. But I have always preferred one player. That's just me. So, yeah. And yeah. Exclusive buddy Jason skin and counselor clothing pack. So, yeah, I've gotten that. But yeah, I I enjoy, I've I've enjoyed this game for what it is, and the reason I brought that up as well as aside from the Evil Dead game, it's because I got Friday the Thirteenth on four K, and yes, of course, I've got the Scream Factory set, and um. Some of the stuff, the extras on here, like Friday the 13th Chronicles, Friday the 13th, and Secrets Galore, Behind the Gore, were included um, in the original Blu-ray tin set that I have and I'd showed before. Um, you know, there was a DVD, which was from the first eight film set one of the original stuff that you can get from paramount from crystal lake to manhattan and had the first eight films and there was a bonus disc on there with all these interviews and behind the scenes stuff and um on this two discs on this two discs uh, uh bonus discs they um had all those spread out through here. So for the first disc was like the first. Uh, I believe the first eight or so. Because you know Paramount. Then this was like all the. I believe the. New Line Cinema stuff. Um, and in addition to the reboot. with it, Which is also like. Uh, New Line and Paramount together. But. You know, all that stuff from that disc that I got from that, which I never had that DVD set. I wanted to have it, but I just never got to have it at some point, so I got them all individually. Also, I kind of am glad because got some new stuff that is all in here still. It's all in the first eight films that Paramount released on DVD as exclusive, like special edition stuff. And so, some of the stuff from that original eight film DVD set, which was also the bonus disc for the DVD for the 10 set, it's also on here. They've now, for the 4K version, uh, put some of that stuff onto the 4K discs, 4K Blu ray discs for specifics, but which I kind of like. I kind of like that you have that. Uh, in 4k or high definition now and so now it's more uh, specifically widescreen and they've stretched it as it would normally have been as opposed to just having bars on the top and bottom <clears throat> as before but still it's really cool and um some years ago they had a before this was properly announced of happening you know in that summer in early, like, spring, uh, early summer, or before, well, summer is when this was announced, but it was, like, early summer, where they had, like, for the 40th anniversary of Friday the 13th, there was a steel book, which is basically like this, and, um, I thought that looked cool, only problem is, it was, uh, just a normal Blu-ray, and um 
with absolutely no brand new special features that the previous Blu-ray that I had before the tin didn't have and then the tin came out and that was the same contents and then uh, the Screen Factory came out with all of them again had all the special features and it was kind of like there wasn't really any incentive to buy the steel book. My thought was, since 4K is out, 4K Blu-rays, why not for the steel book have a 4K disc? Well, no, you had to wait until like 2023 or so uh, to get this on 4K. And so I'm like, I didn't get that, but I got this. And I'm, I'm glad I got this because it's a very good transfer it's a you know has all the special features this had plus some of the stuff from the bonus disc so i think that's kind of nice and i if they ever do any more of this in 4k sure i'd, I'd upgrade that just because some of the stuff is uh, great to see some of the things are brighter some of the stuff is darker which helps with the mood of these films so that's always good Again, I know slasher films aren't for everyone, like when it comes to horror. Some people have no problem with horror films, but with slasher-type horror films, they're not that fond of them. But um, Again, they're not for everyone. I personally enjoy those, but, you know, that's me. Um, but unless you're somebody who wants to collect every single thing, I think you didn't need to buy the steelbooks because you didn't get anything brand new. But here's a 4K version that's excellent and um, has the theatrical and un uh, uncut version. Both 95 minutes, but there's like a couple extra seconds of blood. So it's not enough to make a full minute or so. It's just like a few seconds. Um, but overall, I like I just watch the uncut anymore anyway. Because why not? Uh, but... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, it's a, I think it was a good upgrade in, uh, in this terms of picture and sound quality, I think. You know, it's something that where 4K was worth getting, I think. Sometimes, you know, you don't need to upgrade everything, you know. And I get that. And uh, sometimes when I do upgrade, I might give, like, an old copy I had to, like, a family member or so. That way... They have one, and I have one. And, yeah. Because there are people who don't really care about, like, 4K specifically, because sometimes just the Blu-ray is fine. And, you know, there you go. I've got uh, got this in 4K, and uh, I think it was, you know, a little worth it. Uh, in the sense, like, you know... I, I will probably watch this quite a bit and I've already watched it already and I'm also in the process of re-watching all these films so if anything if something good has come out of it outside of the great picture and sound quality improvement that the already fantastic blu-ray had it's now I'm gonna re-watch all the other Friday the 13th films so I think that's always a nice thing and a good positive and i know i talked about a bunch about all this stuff but or a release of some of the stuff i focus on some more than others uh, specifically donnie darko because well it's the first time in a long time i've uh, had uh i've seen donnie darko and i've never owned it before but you know i've talked a lot about friday the 13th uh, i haven't really talked about uh, the Dollars Trilogy much mentioned Unforgiven uh, last month <clears throat> and I haven't even talked about uh, Evil Dead the Evil Dead films at all let alone the TV show um, Courage the Carly Dog is awesome so who knows I might do stuff with all the these uh, films and uh, maybe games that I've gotten um I have to see about what will happen. So, yeah, there's all that. And um, 
I hope all of you are doing well. Hopefully the length wasn't overtly bad. I know I'm like 40 minutes, but hey, it happens. Sometimes you just talk. But yeah, yeah that's my update uh, this time. Hope you're all doing well. And I hope you're all, you all just take care. Have a great day and a great weekend and a great week.